Hi guys, how are you? Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been so long since I actually sat down and filmed a proper video because I have I have been a bit busy and also due to the fact that I have my kids at home I don't have so much time to sit down and film some usually doing like voiceovers but I'm so happy that I'm here today I actually was not expecting to film I just put my makeup on because I, I had some extra time in the morning and I wanted to play with makeup and I have used my BK Beauty palette that I received from uh, Lisa J and yeah a couple of other items i'm wearing the uh, Catrice foundation the tarte liner that i got in the boxy charm box for the month of february but today we are going to unbox the boxy charm march base box versus ipsy plus for the month of march both boxes retail for 25 dollars and i want to see which one has the best value now for the ipsy i know what is it inside but for the boxy charm i have no idea what's inside excepting one product and i will tell you right away what is it that and what's the reason that i got this box for march i was not expecting to record today because my shipping career the fedex was uh, sending me the notification that i'm going to receive the box with all my US boxes tomorrow, Wednesday 7th, but I was so surprised when I seen that I will gonna get it today. So yeah, before we are starting, maybe you have already noticed that I have another hair color and I want to thank you all that you left me nice feedback on my Insta post related to this a new hair color i'm really loving it and one other reason i want to thank you guys for the, all the positive feedback that you have left me on my previous video that i did not the one that i'm going to upload today uh, today i'm going to upload the essence stay all day 16 hour foundation but the previous video that i have uploaded last week and it's uh, all about my um, boxy charm pop-up uh, add-on and experience that i have with them and i want to thank you for all the feedback and i'm going to do the review for the face for the uh, lip line cream i'm also going to show you what i'm doing to improve my scalp condition and i had another request uh, from another viewer i don't remember exactly her name but uh, she asked me to describe my issue that i had with the shipping career my us so as you might already know i don't live in the us and i am taking the service of a shipping forwarding um, company to get the us beauty subscriptions that uh, i'm going to show you on my channel but long story short it will be a separate video about that issue and I will have separate reviews for all those uh, things that you have asked me. Baxi Charm is a monthly beauty subscription that it's 25 US dollars plus tax. My shipping address is actually in a tax-free state in the US so from that reason I do not pay uh, tax in the US but anyway I pay shipping a lot and taxes so yeah it's somehow compensating and I don't know what is it inside excepting one product. For March I also got the Baxi Lux. That video will come after that even though I'm thinking to do a pool and let you guys pick which one of the videos you want to see first or which one is the order you want to see but I wanted to get the basis box because I have seen something that I really wanted and that one was as a gift. So and it was the uh, St. Patrick's Day uh, theme for the month of March. So I have the variation C2103033. It's actually, I've seen Catherine McCartney, she managed to figure out what is the social security number that we, we are getting now as a uh, variation. And it's 21 is the year, 03 is the month. 033 is the actual variation so i have the variation 33. first ah, uh, i cannot believe i'm so excited i'm so excited about this product look what i first picked guys so this is the banana souffle moisture cream by glow recipe i have to admit i haven't seen so many uh, base boxes uh, unboxings for the month of march because most of the people that i watched they had the lux box so 
this is the basis but i have seen people were also getting glow recipe products in this basis box i don't think so that i'm going to open it but i want to see the packaging she's lovely she's glorious i'm so happy about this this is the glow recipe banana souffle moisture cream a soothing lightweight moisturizer that seals in lasting hydration without clogging pores it's non-comedogenic and non-acnegenic making it especially good for sensitive skin blended with banana chia seed magnesium turmeric and chica sika sika it's a recipe for hydrated, healthy looking skin and it retails for 39 US dollars. So this is the first product. And if, if entire box is like this, yeah. Second thing I got is the rose water setting spray. Oh my God, love it. I love rose water setting sprays. I had one before, but not from this brand. I haven't had Maven Beauty. Makeup setting spray, 100 mils. Oh, smells divine. Maybe the spritz is not the best I have ever... No, it is okay. And now, and now I spray it toward the camera. Maybe the rest of the video will <laughs> contain small little bubbles. So this retails for 22 US dollars. Set your intention and your makeup with this aura lifting antioxidant packed rose water setting spray mist all over your finished look to lock it down and prevent smudging for up to 16 hours we shall see that i will actually test it in one of my upcoming videos the third product guys i'm so excited about this it's a lime crime eyeshadow palette this is the venus free now I have to be honest, I have another uh, lime crime palette that I'm not so keen about, but many people love this one. Look at the cute packaging. And lime crime, it's a cruelty free and vegan lipping bunny certified company. Oh, those shades are beautiful. I might not swatch it. Uh, it's coming with a cover. I might not swatch it just for the fact that if I'm getting overloaded with so many eyeshadow palettes i might consider to give it away so from this reason i will not swatch it right now but in case of not i will do a makeup tutorial and probably a review just because my previous uh, venus palette my previous lime crime palette left me a sore taste i want to see if this is anyway better than that one what is this this is a clear brow gel brow gel clear brow gel okay hold and control by the brand a ah, billion dollars brow i've heard about this brand this is also cruelty free uh, vegan and paraben free product yeah so it's it has a traditional mascara kind of wand and i'm not going to spend too much time to read because and we have also to unbox the Ipsy and let you know um, after that which one is my favorite box. And the last product, excepting the bonus, is the Cap Cosmetics Hydrating Lip Oil. This looks so fancy and has a giant. It smells sweetish kind of uh, sweet scent and I like it. So this is non-sticky instant burst of hydration and comes in different hints. Tints. Rum Punch is the actual uh, tint name. Okay, and this is the last product. Now, this is the box that I got for the uh, month of March. But as I told you, I signed up for March only for March for the base box because I have seen they were giving as a sign up gift this Violet Voss Olive You Forever palette so I could not pass this one especially because you remember I was so bummed that I didn't got this on my January I think it was a January base box so yeah retails for 30 or 35 US dollars so really 
beautiful shades. I cannot wait to play with it, especially because I have another Violet Rose uh, palette that I got in my starter Ipsy bag. So I might do a review, a comparison between those two palettes, the one that I have now and the rose palette. So let me know if you are into that. I will gladly do that for you. I don't know exactly when, but I will do it. So yeah, this is everything I got for the Baxi charm. I will put the total value on the screen right now. Now let's move on to the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of March. So Ipsy has three layers of boxes. This is the medium value. But the good thing that is on Ipsy and you don't have on Baxi is that you can get the medium without having the base one that retails for $12. However, I was not so uh, willing to have a lot, of, a lot of boxes. So I went for the Plus. So this is how the bag looks like and she's really nice and here you have so I thought there are products that there are some uh, informations about the colors so red energy strength leadership I don't actually have the time to redo this okay so I'm not being given a leaflet Aww. so the first product that I'm getting is the ah oh yeah this is the complex culture this is a actually a brush I remember now she's so pretty oh my god I'm so I actually didn't believe that it will be so fluffy so it's it's really huge look at my cheek and she's larger than my mouth so she's really nice and I don't have so many fluffy brushes I think this it will be perfect for setting powder but also for blush I think I I'm going to love it to use it for blush I don't have the prices but I have the email they have sent to me and I think there are the prices so I will uh, refer to that when I will be editing the video the second product this was one of my picks this one they picked for me this is the um, colored rain vineyard soiree eyeshadow palette I think I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it as I told you I'm going to have too many eyeshadow palettes so probably some of them will uh, go back to you but just, I just want to open it and show it to you because she's pretty she reminds me of some of the Smashbox small palettes I don't know if they had the same color story but yeah the colors are really nice and you have two mattes and four shimmery shades and I see this also this is a cruelty free company so I've seen that most of the small companies or indie brands are cruelty free so that makes me happy the things are getting better Next, I have, oh my god, I, I wasn't expecting to be so big. This is the first look at the packaging. So this is the Estate Cosmetics and uh, Bailey Serian, I suppose, and the palette is Venice Filling. So I thought it would be smaller. I have been to Venice once, so beautiful place, but too much expensive. Wow, those pants are large. This is so big. Oh my God, she's so pretty. Again, I'm not going to swatch it, but I like it. I'm so impressed. I wasn't thinking that I'm going to love it when I'm going to see it, but I like it. And the shadows remind me of a Julia place. Uh, size of the pen. I don't have any of that palettes from Ju Juvia Place, but I have seen on other people how large they are. So really pretty palette. Two more products to go and those I have chosen. First is the Anastasia or Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Gel that I picked up in the shade Taupe. If you don't know, uh, Ipsy uh, picks for you two products and you are able to customize three so i think this is awesome so love the packaging 
I actually almost grabbed this last year on a Sephora sale. So now I'm happy I didn't do it. And I love the wand. It's somehow similar with the one that I had from the Too Faced, so I don't know. No, I already have a brow setting gel, so it's it's not working, but love it. I'm chuffed that I got this one. And the final product that I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of March is the Dose of Colors Meteor Hue Full Coverage Concealer. I have the shade 03, which is fair. Hopefully it's not too light for me. Hopefully. I'm a concealer junkie. Oh my god, I think this is too fair for me. It's white. Mm. So, yeah, I, I didn't have any more choices to pick, so maybe I should update my profile for Ipsy because I also could have uh, chosen a foundation or a tinted oil by Kosas and also I thought the shade it will be too light, so I went for the concealer. Uh, let's go, let's open it. I don't care. I will not give it to anyone. Oh, it's actually not that bad but it smells like paint so this smells awfully similar with the wet and wild um, foundation so yeah it has a paint smell to it it's not bad and i'm not bothered by that but i think we are going to match and also it looks like she's uh, going to oxidize so yeah it will work, it will work, and we are going to keep it. So, this is everything I got on the Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of March. So, I got the uh, Dose of Colors Concealer, the um, Brow Setting by Anastasia, the Brush, the Eyeshadow Palette by Estate Cosmetics, and another Eyeshadow Palette by Colored Rain. If I were to pick a uh, box, for this month between the Baxi Charm base and the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I honestly cannot tell you which one I like best. So I think both are fabulous, but you might have different uh, opinions than me. So I would like you to share with me your thoughts down below. Please let me know which one of the boxes you thought it's better for this month. And I'm also going to have uh, the value of each box uh, up on the screen so you can compare the values. Maybe that also balance the actual uh, preference. But yeah, not bad, not bad at all. I'm really happy for what I got on my first uh, two boxes that I unboxed today. Other than that, if you enjoy this kind of videos, I will highly recommend you to subscribe. I have a lot of unboxings to share with you on my channel. I'll have a new box on my channel for the month of April, but you might see it on May, depending when my boxes will arrive. But yeah, other than that, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'm gonna see you again on my next video. Bye, you guys! Mwah! Okay. <laughs>